7,705 pounds, Rockwood 8329 SS, as in super sweet here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This thing, uh, at the time it was built, looks to have been equipped with basically every option that was available on a Rockwood Signature, and it looks to have been very well kept and well maintained, and it does look like you are also going to enjoy the benefit of inheriting the full RV cover purchased by the previous owners, which is part of the reason this thing looks fantastic. And the first feeling I had the moment I stepped in here was just like, wow, it still, even after a couple years, still has that rich, luxurious sort of look and feel to it. And that's the thing with Rockwoods. They are so far ahead of their time that this thing is still current and then some. So we've got a vaulted ceiling here, and this thing has a full aluminum skeleton, by the way. That's part of the reason that with three slides, it's only 7,700 pounds. I've often referred to the Rockwood Signature Series as a portable park model, because a big triple slide floor plane like this is awesome for destination use, but it's still towable. Now, we do have double AC runs, which is why I've got the camera staring at the ceiling for so long, so this thing also cools very nicely, and previous owner had this built 50 amp with second air factory installed, so this is a dual AC unit, which is fantastic. It was built during the time that most of the RV industry was using, sadly, poor quality air beds. So the sofa and everything's in great shape. There's a storage drawer below that, but I have not located a, um, uh, a bladder, the mattress, actually, for that. But, I mean, for less than $20 at the big box store of your choice or Amazon, you can have one delivered right to your house if you are so inclined. Now, on the back here, this was one of the things that really set Rockwoods apart in the Signature Series for a number of seasons. And they still technically do it, you just don't see as many. Um, but we have true, actual, Lazy Boy recliners back here. They're not like, sometimes when people say, I want Lazy Boys in that RV, they, they mean, I want recliners. These are, the look at the tag, it says Lazy Boy. Much nicer, higher grade, way more comfortable. The only problem I ever had with these things is that between video tour takes, occasionally I take a quick break and I never want to get up. You know, that's the biggest challenge I had here. Now, some floor plans have windows on the camp side. Some have windows on the driver's side. This has windows on all three sides. You've got uh, over here on the camp side, on the driver's side, and the rear of the RV, as we had seen. This hardwood freestanding dining table. Uh, very good for couples, but great for guests. It has that extension leaf to give you the extra space. All the original electronics are present and accounted for. Rockwood was ahead of the curve, which makes this still a current RV with things like having that uh, Bluetooth DVD stereo system, but they left you a big pocket right here. You want to throw in a satellite system, you want to throw in a Blu-ray or whatever. They gave you the space to expand and upgrade your entertainment. It was a genius design decision. And an electric space heating fireplace below to take the nip out of the air without burning up your propane, although you can use it for heatless visuals only as well. They did something here too I wish more RVs would do. They didn't mess with the island. It's just an island. It's just prep space and full cabinet space below. It has power outlets on both sides. They didn't stuff the sink in the middle of it, and I love it because it's one of the best prep spaces you could look for. Sinks in an island really kill a lot of the prep space they could potentially have. And you see the uh, twin bar stools right here, so it's the perfect little breakfast bar, whether it's, you know, uh, game day nachos or grandkid bowl of cereal or whatever the case may be, whatever your camping style is, it can get the job done. You'll notice that all of our cabinetry, this was when they were using a, a cherry hardwood on those raised panel uh, doors and the door frames. It, it's a true cherry hardwood. Just such a rich and beautiful stain to it. Um, you will also notice how we have uh, Corian countertops all the way around. A true solid surface counter all the way uh, through this thing. And appliance outlets. There's another outlet on the back side of this island. There's outlets there. There's outlets there. There's outlets all over this flipping thing. You can, I don't care if you got... Coffee makers, blenders, uh, you get the idea. Any appliances you got, you know, griddles and stuff, you got places to put it. And then just the simple things. They know when to not overdo at Rockwood. I mean, they, they're always going over the top, but they know, like, when to pull back, too. Just a simple battery disconnect. It's not fa fancy, it's not flashy, but just boop, and there you go. You notice how all the lights died? That's all it takes. So when this RV's in storage, you don't have something like a circuit panel killing all your uh, battery power. And then when you get back to your campsite, you flip a switch and, hey, Martha, bam, we're camping. Bam, like Emerald. <laughs>
Is that even still a thing? I don't know. So dual entry doors here for the bathroom bedroom uh, pass through means that if you do have a guest here, nobody has to walk past each other. Uh, but we easy access that porcelain stool and we do have an extra large stone cast sink in here in this bathroom. Now as we go up past the vanity you will also find a big XL sized max air vent fan complete with roof vent cover. And look at the cleanliness of this. They didn't seem to really use that fan a whole heck of a lot. But a hidden gem and the unsung hero of this floor plan is right behind that door. You have this big linen cabinet space down here. And uh, now you might notice down here there's a hinge right next to that handle. And you think, what kind of goofball idiot did that? That's completely intentional. That is an access point to something like your water pump for winterization purposes. They wanted to make sure that you could get to that. And then it still looked good when you weren't using it. But they kind of help mask their mechanicals with Rockwoods. Again, we do have dual air conditioners. This is a 50 amp service coach, both of which were upgrades at the time this was built. Being a Rockwood dealer, I know my way around these things pretty well. And a very important note here is that they use a full three foot deep bed slide. This is deeper than fifth wheel bed slides, ladies and gentlemen. And what that creates is more sidewall room for those uh, side stands as well as those side windows but it also means we've got more room to walk around and get dressed when you are uh, at your destination. Now this does have a residential size queen in it. You could very easily swap to a king, however, if you simply remove these side stands, but that's a decision you'll have to make. You do have outlets and uh, you know additional little stands there on both sides of the bed as well. I, I just realized I completely screwed up here. I definitely should have opened that front window, but I believe that you're intelligent folks. I think you get the idea that that is a front window with privacy shades, day and night shades. By the way, the whole camper has day and night shades all the way around. Easy to miss down in that corner. That's the original RVQ grill that came with this RV. So it is outside grill ready. Great dresser space below. And by getting that closet off the front wall, like a fifth wheel normally would, you still have a huge closet here but you get that extra window and that sense of size and space. And this was also built with the factory installed second TV up here, and it is on a swing arm mount. Now, what's kind of cool about this is it can turn to face the uh, you know bed if you want it to, but the whole TV and everything can dismount to be used outdoors as well. I also just noticed that this they really did build every option possible on this thing. This also has the dual pane window option that was available on Rockwoods. And another neat note on the Signature Series is they do have 12 volt tank heater pads on them as well. The skin of this thing looks absolutely fantastic. It is not sun baked and faded. Again, largely due to that full RV cover that they not only purchased, but obviously actually used. You might note how this has dual power awnings. Sorry, it's a little windy. Both power awnings also have aluminum shields on them so that when the RV is in storage, even if you're not using the cover, when the awnings are tracted, the sun, the weather is not eating that awning material up, basically. The nose cap still has full gleam to it. And Rockwood was actually, uh, they, they were one of the last to adopt a painted nose cap, but Rockwood never had nose paint uh, or nose fade issues because they actually put UV inhibitors in their cap mix. They spent the extra money nobody else did, even though nobody could see it. I tell you what, after a couple years of ownership, you can see the difference between a Rockwood and a lot of the faded caps in the used RV industry today. Um, power tongue jack, 30 pound propane tanks. This also has push button power stabilizers. Good gravy. This thing is just loaded with windows, isn't it? Jeez, you get around the backside of this thing, it's just nothing but windows. This also has a high gloss skin package. I mean, this thing looks great. Now, Rockwood builds pretty much all their, like the mini light, the ultra light, the signature that we're looking at here. They build all their stuff in the same manner, but the signatures do get a couple things like the higher gloss skin package. They get bigger windows and they do get um, holding tank heaters standard. So this does have those 12 volt tank heaters that I mentioned sooner. Um, as I uh, get down the side, well here again you can see that high gleam that near mirror like reflection that we have going down the side of this thing and as we get to the main patio awning area past the slide this is where you can use that outside grill the quick connect is right below and you do have hookups for that bedroom tv could mount outside or you could just get a separate screen and bring that out here as well I'll tell you what guys this is as loaded as one of these could get it's been well kept and you get it at used dollars those are all really good things. So give us a jingle. 800-256-5196. We are Halet RV, Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.